What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and here's my new tow truck. This is what happens when you get water in the fuel. So I've officially purchased the toenail guys. This truck is so beautiful. I'm gonna give you the down low on it before my brother and I go and rip her around town for a second. It is a 93 Ram 350 factory turbo diesel. It is a VE injection, but it's not P-pumped. Um, it was originally just a regular old two-wheel drive truck that a company took and extended it. That a company took and extended the frame on and put this wedge style bed on it. It is, was made by Hodges Custom Haulers out of, I don't know how to say that, Paducah, Kentucky. I don't know. Maybe you guys can correct me if you're from that town. But it has zero rust on the entire truck. There's no rust anywhere. The cab is in mint condition. The bed is in amazing shape. It's got a couple small spots before it was painted. But it is running 19.5 tires on it and wheels. So it's pretty sick setup. Big tires and wheels. Gets amazing fuel mileage. It gets like 23 miles to the gallon. It has had a NV4500 conversion done on it in the truck here. But does have hot eat cold ac everything works even all the way down to the freaking cruise control guys the cruise even works it's even oh even the horn works it's got seats back here in the back of this thing it's just freaking sick all the way around i do have to clean some of my junk in here because we have been going pretty crazy when i have been using it here lately hauling the flat bed around and doing stuff with that but i'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and get right into it guys so you guys can see what kind of jewel she does have underneath the hood so I even wore my Cummins shirt today just for you guys. I knew we'd be doing a badass Cummins video. But underneath the hood here, we got all the horse purrs that you could ever ask for. It's got brand dang new larger injectors in here. I think they're like five by five by nines or five by tens. It's got a VE injection pump with a governor spring in there and a modified AFC housing. It's pretty sick. And I think it's got some kind of an aftermarket turbo on here. It's definitely an H1C turbo but i think it's got a different wheel and something i don't know i really haven't been too far into it but it does have a four inch down pipe that goes out here to a turn down where we clean the concrete off out here because we were blowing all that soot i don't know how it got water in it um i have a feeling that it had something to do with the last gas station that i stopped at and got fuel because um the water and fuel light did come on it's kind of strange but um who knows it does have a hole where it had a stack in it at one point. i don't know if i'm gonna put a stack back in it or not just because if I put whatever put on here, it'll have a just shit going everywhere. So you guys pretty much have the rundown on the horse purrs underneath the hood here. Cold AC, hot heat. Like I think I already said that, but I gotta let y'all guys know because these things very rarely have cold AC, hot heat, and cruise control that actually functions. Oh, and a hood that closes. Just need to flicker up this old doohickey go right here. There we go. But it is patina. It does have like a lot of like not like a lot, but it's got like surface rust on the hood, stuff like that. And on the roof, there are no holes in the roof. I love the freaking visor though, so sick. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys think I should keep the original paint job and stuff like that, or if we should get it completely repainted and do something different with it. I definitely do want to do some like 195 American Forces or some Alcoas or something else to kind of pop off the wheels and make it look a little bit nicer. And I've thought about even making it full drive. I don't know. There's lots of stuff. This is a whole other project, but it's actually a working and running and driving truck that literally needs nothing from me. So I'm not going to mess with it right now. But drop some comments down below if you think we should paint it or what I should do with it as far as that goes. It does have a South Bend dual disc clutch already in it and a wireless 12,000 pound winch, which is pretty sick. I've got the remote right here so we can just hit the end button. Boom. Just like that. Tightens the winch up. All good and tight line boom and now it's stuck probably but whatever we've got a freaking toenail yeah Ooh. 
No, you need I got some cleaning to do there, don't I? Yeah, you can use that servo off here. Off of the um, that one that I had before, that billet servo, remember? Yeah, again, those are $500. Right here. All right, guys, so just put this thing in perspective how big it is. Here's my hand on top of this thing. Our perspective. I'm and how much does it pounds. weigh? This thing is about 32 pounds. And you're, you're almost what? You're 5'10. 5 5'11. 5 yeah, this thing's huge. Slam it. If, if the grass was clean right there. Oh, yeah. And also, guys, just before we get moving and running in town and grabbing some dinner, I want you guys to know that all of my diesel videos here posted on YouTube, whether it be with the toenail or with the flat nasty or really anything in general, they are all brought to you by dieselautopower.com. Go to Diesel Auto Power's website. They're always running crazy deals for injectors, injection pumps, turbos, any performance part you can imagine. A lot of stock stuff for you guys that just want to fix up your truck. Also, and also just preventative maintenance. So guys, go to their website, it's dieselautopower.com. And when you're at checkout, be sure to hit the drop down box where it says, where have you heard about Diesel Auto Power from? And select my name, Bruce Wilson, at checkout. That helps me out major, guys. So I'm bringing you guys so many badass videos and parts and everything right here. So go right here, dieselautopower.com check them out guys and make sure you select my name at checkout so we can continue to bring some amazing videos to you guys and maybe put some performance parts on the old toenail right here very very soon guys so with that being said we're gonna hop in here and go grab some food well guys looks like we found some more water and fuel what do you say there bud um well it looks like you're roasting tires but you're just roasting some water there <laughs> Jeez. we're just gonna burn it through hopefully, it'll, hopefully we don't break down going down the road <laughs> Boulevard. We got our heavy load in tow, right? Yeah, I'm still wondering. We're at Commando's Pizzeria. We're gonna get some pizza and then go rip around some more. Well, boys and girls, we made it back here to the shop after eating dinner with my little brother and parking the toenail. <laughs> it kept fighting us a little bit more. I don't know how it got water and fuel, but it did. But we have spent the better part of the day in the past couple days cleaning the shop up and just getting it somewhat organized getting these spider webs off the walls and stuff like that. But I've got several engine builds happening right now, if you guys have been following. We've got the Flatties engine, which we still have to tear down, but we do have the pistons and everything out of it. We just have the rotating assembly, pretty much what's left, the crank, um, and things like that. Oh, I didn't even notice. I guess the front seal. Huh. Front seal blown out of there or something. Go figure. Um, but we've got the flat engine. We've got to tear down the rest of the way. I've got a 12-valve engine, which is going in the bullnose forward thumb and swap which is going to be happening in the next couple weeks um we're taking the machine shop tomorrow and then on the back shelf back here you see all these parts they're all an organized mess i know what everything is and which engine it goes to but um the bottom stuff down here is uh parts off this 12 out which we need to pull apart and clean and get ready for assembly when it comes back from machine shop um and then we have this eco boost right here which i have completely torn down um, i'm picking up the new engine tomorrow but this is the core unit as you see We've got all the parts for it right here in boxes because the new engine, we have to put all the old stuff back on it. So, and the Flatties turbo and the Flatties heads right there. So trying to make this mess into an organized mess so it's a little bit easier to walk around in here. It looks better on film and stuff like that. We're getting the floor swept up. We've got toolbox cleaned off. I've turned my office, as you guys seen in the last video, into more or less a clean room. I still have my desk in here so we can get some stuff done. We're gonna be putting better lighting in here. I've got my um, backdrop lighting for doing better filming for you guys so we can bring you some better quality videos, stuff like that. But the clean room is actually finally happening inside the office. But I'm gonna be ordering some bright, bright, bright LED lights to go in here to really brighten it up other than it being a gray room, which isn't the best for making things bright, but we'll make it work. Bet you won't catch it. This is it yours? You gonna catch it? That's his, let him try to catch it. Put the fucking brake clean up for when y'all get hurt. I'm gonna hurt both y'all at the same time. Someone catch this. You ready? Yeah, <laughs> you stunned jackass. Don't think I will. Is it still full? Yeah, or is it? Grab another one. These things are cheap. 
I can catch it. I was just trying to not like. We'll put the brake clean down. Yeah, my here you go, suck it. My ankles are. <laughs> hey, you catch it. Come here. Let me get another bush light. Hold on, let me get another bush beer. Is it what you know? What do you know what you do with bush beer? That's what you do with bush beer. <laughs> Nasty shit. Nasty ass beer. Bruce, do you know what you do with these? No, I don't do that. <laughs> Fucking glass everywhere. Smash a tall boy in there. McUltras, there you go. You like those, don't you? Coors Light. Who the hell is drinking Colorado Kool-Aid? Bro, I want to see what all three do. What? Should we do it. Smash them. Smash them. They've been there forever. I bought these for Cole forever ago. I hate Bush Light or Bush Beer. Where'd Austin go? He's out doing something sneaky. He's getting firecrackers. What he's doing? Let's go for it. Throw her. That was very uneventful. <laughs> Like we're gonna have some redneck hillbilly cursing us for busting his fucking bush beer. <laughs> Nasty <laughs> stuff. Right in the eyeball. <laughs> that went all over me. Nasty ass beer. All those bush like. Oh, that, that's a hard bottle, boy. You better hit that thing as hard as possible. Don't open it, leave it closed. All right, now, now what are you gonna do? Is there really? Oh, we really gotta get some hillbillies mad at us. This old, this beer, guys, all old and expired anyways. It's been here forever. Bitch, got my shoes soaking ass wet. I knew you wasn't expecting Dang. We got beer toes now. Jeez. <laughs> See what? Huh? See what? Oh, oh. <laughs> what up, fool? <laughs> Do that. We should just leave the mustard right there. Tell Austin, hey, when he comes in tomorrow, we got something in the middle of the shop for you. You need to clean up. Right. No, don't waste Pepsi. That baby's good. Austin jerk out of his mouth. Huh? Austin jerk out of his mouth. Right? What the fuck? What the hell? What happened to that one? What the hell? That baby's frozen. <laughs> got a beer slushy in this house. Oh, yeah. Beer slushy. <laughs> Oh, it stinks too. Oh, that man. stuff's gonna be a mother to clean. Well, after all of our shenanigans, we proceeded to grab the purple power and spread it all over the floor right there. And this floor is incredibly stained, but we did get it a lot cleaner than it was, but it's still super nasty, but better than it was. We've got it all pushed outside. We're gonna let the dirt and stuff dry right outside the door tomorrow. Then we're gonna sweep it up so that the landlord is not getting pissy. But that's pretty much a wrap for today's video, guys. You guys have been killing the merch the past day since I announced we're gonna be giving away these freaking pistons and rods from the Flat Nasty. Remember, they're a billet rod. Remember, they are a billet piston from Wiseco and a Forge Cummins rod, all kinds of ARP bolts, lots of really cool stuff. We got five going in random orders for the month of April from April 1st to April 30th. So go in there and grab all your merch, guys, and get your free piston and rod and random and select orders so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the upload drop some comments down below if you think we should paint the toenail we should just patina it and clear coat it and make it look the way it was before and i definitely want to get some american forces put on there because i think that'd be really sick what do you guys think forces on the toenail some 19.5s look freaking sick oh dude we should just take that thing today put the flatbed on it well, even if we just had that thing with flatbed, we'd park flatbed and drive the toenail around town, people sitting in recliners and shit on the bed of it. It's not illegal. Is it? I don't think it is. We need to look up the road laws. Everything, everything's illegal in Daytona. Well, look at the road laws. If we can put recliners on the bed of that baby and some couches, we'd, damn right, we'll be cruising down the main strip with the toenail. This floor here. <laughs> drive that baby out on the beach. <laughs> Repoing people's shit.
<laughs> so anyways guys smash the like button drop some comments down below and give me some ideas on what you want to see us do with the toenail whether we should pee pump it put compound turbos on it all kinds of cool stuff and subscribe to the new channel guys and go to ac racing grab your merch and grab those free pistons and rods and we'll catch y'all later peace out